Like, John Jones has had some close fights, man. This Alexander Gustafson fight, that shit went to the wire. Well, the first one. Yes, yeah. the second one he destroyed. <laughs> but the first yeah. one, he literally wasn't training. Literally was not That's training. That's crazy. Was not training. Imagine, imagine being that confident. Were you like, I'm not even going to train. For almost 30 years, mixed martial arts have been conquering the media industry and the hearts of regular people around the world. For all that time, thousands of talented athletes performed at the greatest arenas, maybe tens of thousands. But today we are going to talk about the best of the best. Especially for you, we compiled a list of 10 fighters whose greatness exceeds all possible limits in the fighting community. Please don't forget about the likes, comments with forwards, and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Number 10, Stipe Miocic. It wasn't about him, it was about me. Because I'm the champ. I broke the record. I'm the best. A former Croatian firefighter was the two-time heavyweight champion of the world in the UFC. Currently, Stipe Miocic is 40 years of age. His last performance was a rematch with Francis Ngannou on March the 28th of 2021. In the second fight, he lost to the Cameroonian via second round knockout and decided to take a break. Even though the professional career of Stipe Miocic began in 2010 when he was already 28, this guy managed to achieve incredible heights for such a short period of time. His first appearance in the Premier Promotion happened a year after the beginning of his fighting journey. The athlete spent the next five years earning the respect of the fans and UFC matchmakers. Picturesque fighters drew attention from the very first performances, and in 2016, he won the major trophy for the first time. But what's so special about him? At first, UFC belts were not defended. There was some kind of prize up for the victory. Title of a regular UFC heavyweight champion was introduced in 1997. Since then, no heavyweight has defended the belt more than twice, and there were 14 champions in total. And at a certain moment, Stipe Miocic stepped on the scene. In his first title defense, Stipe knocked out an experienced striker, Alistair Overeem. Then the Croatian destroyed the former champion, Junior Dos Santos. And now it was the time for the third defense. It wasn't achieved neither by Fearsome Gypsy, nor the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu master, Fabricio Werdum, or the incredible wrestler in Kane Velasquez. And a well-rounded Stipe Miocic, who kind of had nothing special about him, achieved that against the monster who was almost given the title before the fight even happened. After beating Francis Ngannou, Stipe Miocic became the first heavyweight in 20 years who defended the world championship three times. And his rivalry with Daniel Cormier, that turned into one of the greatest trilogies in the history of the sport, deserves a separate video. For all these achievements, he takes the number 10 spot on our list. Number 9, Matt Hughes. Matt Hughes, ladies and gentlemen. If, if I wasn't hit by a train and that word was ever, I'd ch choke him out. He made me cry a, a couple of times. <laughs> Next, we have a two-time welterweight UFC champion. In his time, Matt Hughes was a role model for many Americans, both in a regular life and the sport. A titled wrestler who was raised on the farm, reached the status of one of the best UFC fighters regardless of a weight class. He has a wife and three kids. On Sunday, he goes to church and cites the Bible on his website. Sadly, right now, we remember Matt Hughes and his tragic accident that happened in June of 2015. UFC Hall of Famer's car crashed into a train. The fighter suffered a severe intracranial injury. Fortunately for this guy's loyal fans, he managed to more or less recover and now lives a peaceful and active life. Matt Hughes' first appearance on Fighting Radars happened in 1998. Then on January the 1st in Chicago, he performed at a local show and got the win. Since then, he has entered the cage 54 times, and for long 13 years of his professional career, he built a legacy of a great champion and eminent human being. Even now, this guy holds the second record for the most title defenses in the welterweight division, seven. GSP is in first place, defending his UFC championship eight times. 
Having such a successful sports career, Matt never forgot about the spiritual side of his life. He regularly went to church and participated in various charity events. With his brother Mark, who completely dedicated his life to serving God, they not once showed their human qualities and incommunicable love for the Almighty. Right now, as we mentioned earlier, Matt Hughes continues to attend different sports events and leads a peaceful life with his family. Considering all aforementioned merits, he takes this spot on our list. Number 8. Jose Aldo Yeah, we love him, man. This will always be his house. I told him, if you ever need anything here, you ever want to go to an event, this is always your house. And this is a guy that, you know, from the WEC to the UFC, helped build the sport, this brand, and, um, and Brazil for us. So we love him and we always will. Then we have the king of Rio himself, the legendary and merciless Brazilian, Jose Aldo. The professional career of that guy can be rightfully considered as one of the best in this sport. His MMA debut took place in 2004. The Brazilian fighter scored stoppages in his first seven fights. The first loss came only a year later. But then, with no exaggeration, 10 years of dominance in mixed martial arts. First, he became the WEC champion. And then when UFC acquired this organization, he took the title of the premier promotion. It happened back in 2011, and since then, the Brazilian earned seven consecutive wins. Aldo beat Chad Mendes twice, defeated Frankie Edgar himself, and overall dismantled anybody Dana White offered him. Unfortunately, the career of even such an exemplary fighter couldn't go without tough times. Since the notorious Irishman showed up in the featherweight division, life and career of the King of Rio split in before and after. After a sensational 13-second knockout loss, Aldo couldn't ultimately come back to his previous level. That's how deep Conor McGregor got into his head. Even the decision to switch weight classes did not change the situation. Sure, Jose Aldo occasionally delivered flashy performances, but he wasn't the same dominant champion like a couple of years earlier. Last year, the Brazilian officially retired and ended his professional career, and soon he plans to have a debut in the boxing ring. Either way, this guy deserves all the respect in the world for an invaluable contribution to martial arts. The greatest UFC featherweight and what a title run he had in his years. A true legend, he will be forever in the fans' hearts and in this place of our list. Number 7. Habib Nurmagomedov What about How Khabib? It entertaining. Khabib is arguably the GOAT. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna mention Beats him too. Beats everybody, again, barely loses around. That's why I wouldn't, I wouldn't like look at, I would put him more a two or three, you know, a four. I'm talking about who did it greatest, who did it the best. We move further. On 7th place, we have one of the best Dagestani fighters of all time. Habib Nurmagomedov can be rightfully recognized as a reference example of discipline and the fact that hard work always pays off. Think about it yourself. By 2010, the Eagle was a two-time country combat sambo champion. Right after that, he began to perform in mixed martial arts. And in 2012, he got an opportunity to continue his sports career in the world's best league. For the next couple of years, he extended his lightweight run and not knowing the taste of defeat, reached his coveted goal, the title fight. After an expected win over Al Quinta, Nurmagomedov climbed to the Olympus of his division, followed by three successful title defenses. First, he fought against the UFC double champion, Conor McGregor. Their rivalry is still recognized as the biggest one in the sport. He stopped the Irishman in the fourth round. After that, a year later, the Dagestani bested the diamond Dustin Poirier, beating him in the third round. The third and last title defense took place in October of 2020. Habib needed less than two complete rounds to stop the highlight Justin Gaethje. Unfortunately, after that fight, which happened to be the 29th of his unblemished professional career, the Dagestani announced his retirement. The reason to hang the gloves up was Habib's personal tragedy, the passing of his father and honored coach, Abdulmanab Nurmagomedov. 
The fans waited a long time for Habib to have another farewell fight, which could be the 30th in his career, but in vain. Nurmagomedov did not want to compete without his mentor and promised his mother to get done with the professional sport. Currently, the Degestani stated that he wants to leave the fighting industry, including the coaching business. No matter what, he made a significant contribution in the development of mixed martial arts and managed to leave this sport undefeated. 29-0, lost only two rounds in his whole career and four UFC champions on his resume. It's hard to imagine a better career. For all of that, the Eagle takes this place in our list. Number 6. Daniel Cormier I, I, uh, I was a heavyweight for a long time and I loved the division. I never knew what I could become, but tonight I got the answer. I'm a two division champion, baby! Here we have Habib Nurmagomedov's close friend and one of the best fighters in the whole world. Daniel Cormier is a fighter who can truly embrace that title throughout each moment of his life. Even far away from the canvas or octagon of the premier promotion, this man constantly dealt with tribulations and hurting losses. Already in his childhood, Daniel Cormier lost his father in the shooting on Thanksgiving Day. At a more mature age, when Cormier was still a promising freestyle wrestler, his first daughter passed away in a car accident. Fortunately, this courageous man did not break after such tragic events. He managed to find strength within himself and continued to do what he was born for. Having an impressive wrestling background, the American fighter decided to transition to mixed martial arts at 30 years of age. After a couple of fights in the organization, DC signed a contract with Strike Force, which back then was seen as the main competitor of UFC and had an equal heavyweight roster in terms of power. There he presented himself in the best way possible. His spectacular performances and level of skills impressed the fans so much that Daniel was called Black Fedor. Three years later, Cormier arrived in the world's best league. Not to fight his close friend and one of the most prominent heavyweights of that time, Cain Velasquez, DC moved down to the light heavyweight division. Daniel Cormier's fights in the UFC were getting better and better, but unfortunately he encountered his ultimate kryptonite in the face of John Jones. The most talented fighter happened to be the first man to restrain the power and skills of the American. In their first fight, he beat him by decision, and in the rematch, he stopped him by a knockout. Fortunately, due to a failed doping test and bones disqualification, the result of the fight was cancelled. Cormier continued to go over his opponent's head and soon aimed at the heavyweight belt. In July of 2018, a 39-year-old fighter knocked out Stipe Miocic and became the double champion of the UFC. Then he had a successful defense against Derek Lewis. It seemed like he could finish his professional career on such a high note. All the more, so his super fight with Brock Lesnar ultimately did not come to fruition. But DC is not like that. He gave Stipe Miocic an opportunity for a rematch where he lost via knockout. And after that, he with honor accepted another loss in the end of the trilogy. Right now, Daniel Cormier still does what he loves. He regularly goes to the gym, works as a UFC commentator, highlights the main news of this sport and remains the same guy who once moved from wrestling canvas to the fighting industry. For all of that, he deserves this spot on our list. Number 5. Henry Cejudo We got Helen Esports and the King of Cringe, Triple C. How we doing? The next in line is a former bantamweight champion, Henry Cejudo. He is the guy who in his time, after conquering the Olympic gold, transitioned to mixed martial arts and soon reignited the flyweight division of the world's best league. But let's get things in order. Cejudo's professional MMA debut took place on March 2nd of 2013. In just two and a half months, that guy scored four stoppage wins via TKO. When his record got complemented with two more wins, 
UFC matchmakers noticed him and offered a contract. In the next 11 months, he'd earned four more victories, which led to his first title shot. In April of 2016, he shared the octagon with the dominant champion, Demetrius Johnson. As history shows, the first attempt was unsuccessful. After that, Henry decided to take a break, think about what happened and recalibrate. When he got himself together and truly came back, first ahead of him, he had two decisive wins over Wilson Race and Sergio Pettis, and then a second shot at the title. In August of 2018, Cejudo beat the Mighty Mouse and managed to conquer the championship. Moreover, not only did he significant upgrade his skills, but also became the first Olympic champion to win the title of the major promotion. To boost the flyweight division, Dana White decided to send TJ Dillashaw, the bantamweight champion. Cejudo dismantled him in a sensational amount of time, 32 seconds. After the match was cancelled due to Dillashaw's disqualification, the double champion shared the cage with the number one contender, Marlon Moraes. In the main event of the evening at UFC 238, Cejudo got the job done with nine seconds left in the third round, and the final fight in the former Olympic champion's career took place in May of 2020. At UFC 249 tournament, he ran through the Matrix master himself, Dominic Cruz. After a successful defense in the bantamweight, Cejudo announced his retirement. Currently, this guy is 35 years old. Despite the retirement and according to some talks, he plans his return. He decides to challenge the current active champion, Aljamain Sterling. Well, we will see. Either way, the man achieved many different highlights in various sports disciplines. And exactly for that, he deserves this spot on our list. Number 4. George St. Pierre This guy was my father's favorite fighter. You know, it's like, I grew up watching his fights. You know, it's honor to stay with him here. And you know, it's my pleasure, brother. My pleasure. The figure of George St. Pierre left a distinct mark in mixed martial arts forever. One could still have a great pleasure re-watching his fights. Despite that this great athlete is seen as the fighter of a previous generation, even now the level of skills and techniques he showcased in the octagon is truly impressive. Speaking about his opposition, there shouldn't be too much to be said. It's enough to mention some names from his resume. Caro Parisian, Jay Harron, Jason Miller, Sean Shirk, BJ Penn twice, Matt Hughes twice, Matt Serra, John Fitch, Tiago Alves, Dan Hardy, Josh Koshek, and finally, Michael Bisping. All these fighters are the all-time best in the welterweight division. Nobody had a more impressive opposition. GSP beat his rivals at their own game. He was better in wrestling against Hughes and Fitch. Outstruck on the feet and best striker of that time in the face of Tiago Alves, St. Pierre always dominated all his opponents. Perhaps only Johnny Hendricks doesn't count. Right now, his record is 26 wins and 2 losses. He ultimately finished his career after returning in 2017 and beating Michael Bisping in the title fight for the middleweight championship. George St. Pierre is one of the few sports representatives who can truly be called complete. Furthermore, it's not just an opinion of his fans, it's an established statement that even nowadays is expressed by many experts. In his time, that man helped this sport to reach a new level and popularized it like nobody else. Without him, perhaps there wouldn't be fighters of the new generation, such as Habib Nurmagomedov and other athletes at the level they are right now. Because of that, he takes the number four place on our list. Number three, Anderson Silva. Like Anderson Silva when he was like 30 to 32. Mm. Woo! Just going. I remember that. Uh, longest reign. You would watch him and just like put your hands to your head and go, gee. Anderson Silva, a true Brazilian spider. A legendary fighter, recognized athletes, and perhaps the real phenom of this sport. Everybody knows Anderson Silva. Everyone who is more or less familiar with the fighting industry 
heard his name many times. Now let's talk facts why the Brazilian is one of the best fighters in history. His debut in the major promotion took place in 2006. By that moment, he already shined in smaller local organizations and successfully defended his Cage Rage Championship. From the moment he arrived in the world's best league, the Spider needed only one fight to get that title shot. And Silver needed only 2 minutes and 59 seconds to stop Rich Franklin and conquer the UFC gold. For the next 6 years, this man amassed a record-breaking streak of 16 consecutive wins, 13 of which were earned in the middleweight division. Other 3 put the light heavyweight class on notice. Anderson Silva held his title for a record-breaking amount of time, 2,457 days. The Brazilian also holds the record for the most finishes in title fights. On top of that, he is ranked number 2 in terms of participating in the main events at pay-per-view tournaments, 17, and 10 title defenses. Speaking about his skills, everything is clear. At his peak, Anderson Silva had the best reflexes in the entire roster. He always was an extremely versatile fighter who in one round could utilize several fighting styles one after another. He always got out of the most dangerous situations like it was the case with Chao Sonnen. And of course, that man always brought new ways of finishing opponents into this game. Knees, elbows, jabs, front kicks, tie clinch and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, the major attributes of this guy. Who knows what would have happened if the Brazilian did not lose to Chris Weidman via knockout because of a silly mistake and then broke his leg in the rematch. Perhaps the championship reign of this great fighter would have continued, but even in that, Anderson Silva deserves respect and a title of one of the greatest fighters of all time. And of course, this place on our list. Number 2. Demetrius Johnson this sport, the, the, the sport in general, it's kind, it's kind of not fair when you look at it. Like you look at Demetrius Johnson, it's probably right now the best ever. The best ever, yeah, I agree. The undisputed and dominant flyweight UFC champion and also one of the best fighters in the history of the major promotion, Demetrius Johnson, like nobody else, deserves the title of the greatest among the greatest in mixed martial arts. That bright mark that Mighty Mouse left in the industry and fighting culture will never be forgotten by the loyal fans. Demetrius Johnson sat invincible on the flyweight throne for a long time. He has more than 10 successful title defenses. For more than 6 years, that guy did not know the taste of defeat in the world's best league and for some time was even at the top of the pound for pound rating. Just think about it. The fighter who competes in the lightest weight division of the biggest fighting organization is recognized as the best fighter regardless of the weight class. Moreover, it was not that long ago. In 2017, he was still at the top row of the main sports rating. And who knows how his career would go if UFC saw all that potential this man showcased from fight to fight, and if the fans looked at Mighty Mouse more intently. Unfortunately, only after Triple C arrived in the division, things got more or less appropriate. At that moment, UFC did not have many young talents suitable for this category. But either way, the legacy of Demetrius Johnson is forever in UFC history as one of the best fighters of all time. Even the fact that after transitioning from the premier promotion to 1FC, a 35-year-old Mighty Mouse not only opposes young fighters, but wins and becomes the champion of the world is beyond all praise. The Mouse has the most title defenses in the UFC, 11. Demetrius was great at absolutely every aspect of the game, his wrestling, striking, endurance. Johnson is literally like Pele from soccer. If you want a separate video about Demetrius, let's get 5,000 likes on this one and we'll make it happen. For all these qualities and huge legacy, Demetrius Johnson deserves the second place on our list. Number 1. John Jones There is nothing you can do 
to stop me from coming at you round after round with the most malicious techniques I know. You will lose this fight, Daniel Cormier. I want you to believe it. Every ounce of training you put in leading up to this fight will be a waste of your life. The history of humankind has a lot of remarkable personalities. Regardless of what people do, one could distinguish the best in every sphere of life. Those who made the most significant contribution in their craft and reached heights that were unimaginable. Sure, our beloved sport is not an exception. The reason the UFC was created is to identify the best fighter, the athlete who adapts to the fight that is close to the real life encounter. Over time, the fight between representatives of conditional boxing and free wrestling turned into a complete sport, mixed martial arts. Now the top is occupied by the one who has the most versatile arsenal of skills and knows how to use them. Even though John Jones is an extraordinary and perhaps even a controversial figure in ordinary life, from the sports perspective, this man is rightfully called the best fighter in history. Everything associated with Bones, starting from anthropometry to his skills to individually adjust to each opponent, represents him as an athlete in the best way. We don't need to resort to his professional resume. He is multiple times undisputed world champion. The man who ultimately has not lost a single fight throughout his whole professional career. That episode with disqualification in the fight against Matt Hamill is the only thing that can be remotely called a defeat. All the fans kept on saying the exact same thing for the longest and it's hard to argue with. Jones outstruck strikers, submitted jiu-jitsu artists and out-wrestled wrestlers as if it was on principle for him to beat his opponents at their own game. It's a whole other level of dominance. Soon, the legendary Bones plans to return to the Octagon. It will be a heavyweight debut for John Jones. With all his qualities, this guy has absolutely every chance to have a successful career in the new division. We can't wait for the return of the greatest of all time and we honorably award him with the number one spot on our list. Two extra places, Fedor Emelianenko and Conor McGregor. Sure, when we talk about the most remarkable people in the world of mixed martial arts, we can't leave these two on the sidelines. Let's start with Fedor. The Last Emperor is a pioneer of the main popularizer of MMA sports in CIS countries and the whole world, with no exaggeration. For more than 20 years, this great man left the brightest mark on the road of mixed martial arts. In his time, Fedor Emelianenko did his best to help the fighting industry reach the level that it's at right now. Even nowadays, he continues to develop MMA and bring up a new generation. Very soon, The Last Emperor will have his final title run in Bellator. It's very sad that the Russian couldn't reach an agreement with the UFC, as being one of the most complete fighters of two decades, his performances in a world's best league would have perfectly complemented his legacy and made Fedor Emelianenko the greatest fighter of all time. But what he did in his best years, man, it's hard to put into words. The fact that Fedor did not lose in the heavyweight division for a whole decade is mind-boggling. Speaking about the notorious Irishman, things are quite simple. Thanks to his vivid image, good talking skills, fantastic shape and terrifying self-belief in his own powers, Conor McGregor made himself the most famous person in the fighting industry. He brought to his game something that no one of the aforementioned fighters could. First of all, it was him who made MMA this popular. We can't talk about Conor McGregor only from a fighting perspective. Think about it. Muhammad Ali was loved not only for his fights, people shared his life views and character. People loved Mike Tyson for his outburst and controversial behavior. Situation with Conor McGregor is absolutely identical. Just imagine how big of a star McGregor is that he single-handedly manages to sell his fights for more than 1.5 million pay-per-views. It's a fame of another scale. It's because of that guy this sport became common to almost every person on the planet. It even reached a point where the Irishman's every appearance on the UFC radars is perceived as a feast. And considering the last news, there's going to be another feast quite soon. Yes, 
Connor doesn't fall back in terms of sports achievements. Indeed, compared to many athletes from today's list, he might not be the best, but check this out. The first double champion in the UFC holds a record for the fastest knockout in the title fight, 13 seconds against Aldo, scored three knockouts in different weight classes, featherweight, lightweight and welterweight. Connor achieved everything a long time ago. He is a multi-millionaire who provided for his children and grandchildren. McGregor achieved everything he ever dreamed of and even more. There it is guys, leave your opinion in the comments below. What do you think? Which athlete deserves to be called the greatest of all time in the history of mixed martial arts? And why? And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And that's it for today. See you soon.